I have a personal plan to time the market in the next five years and personally make over $20 million in cold hard cash. I have nine steps to this plan and it's going to take place over the next three to five years. I know that sounds crazy, but I'm being 100% serious. And in this video, I'm going to share that plan with you. Last week, I decided to make a tweet on these nine steps or my plan for the next three to five years. And a lot of people agreed that these were the steps that were probably going to happen and in relative similar order. So I'm going to explain to you exactly what we need to do. Uh, and, and July taught every investor that you can't time the market. If you were right, timing market is practically impossible. Don't time the market. Cover that what matters more is not timing the market. You should try and time the market. You can't time the market. So you might have heard by people that you can't time the market and it's better to just invest right now and have time in the market. That is true, but that also is kind of a myth because there are definitely ways that you can time the market and make a lot more money. If you just keep money in the market, you're gonna return seven to 10% per year. But if you time the market, you can return 50, 100%, 500%, even 1000% on your money in a year if you're good with your timing. Contrary to popular belief, the market is not a untamed beast. It's not a wild animal that's completely unpredictable. In fact, quite the opposite is kind of true. Almost everything that happens in the markets has some sort of reason as to why it happens. Whether there's uncertainty in the world because countries are invading other countries and people are scared or because they're printing trillions of dollars or companies are making more money than ever before, markets drop. Usually there's a reason why markets respond the way that they do. And there is another variable called central planning that we have here in the United States. This is how our economic system here in the US runs. And this is also present in other countries as well. And all that central planning means is that there is a central power that is able to control the financial markets in an economy based on some of the tools that they have at their disposal. And in the case of the US, we have the Federal Reserve, which is currently using their monetary policy to control the markets. And if that sounds complicated at all, I promise you it's not. And we're going to get into it and explain it. Luckily for us, what the Federal Reserve does is not only open to the public for everybody to see, but it's also pretty highly predictable. And this just means that we can observe what the Federal Reserve is doing and respond to them accordingly with our investments so that we can make the smartest investments at the smartest times. And I want you guys all to pay attention to this graph for an example right now. In this graph, we can clearly see that every time the federal funds rate or just the interest rate increases, the stock market falls. Increasing interest rates tends to precede recessions. Now, the situation today is a little bit different because we are in a downtrend and there are other variables that cause the markets to fall, but you cannot deny the fact that increasing the interest rates does have a correlation to the markets falling down and that these movements are not completely random. And to prove my point, I want to quickly tell you about someone named Bill Ackman. It seems like all of Wall Street is against you. As an investor, I am coldly economically rational. Bill Ackman turned $27 million into $2.6 billion in less than one month, right before the 2020 stock market crash happened. How much money personally do you have? You underestimate. Millionaire investor Bill Ackman. Oh, investor. Bill Ackman. The next Warren Buffett. What he did was he bought credit default swaps to bet against the corporate bond market. So it's a very similar situation to 2008 when they bought credit default swaps against the housing and bond market. And the idea is these markets are extremely, extremely safe. They are very unlikely to default. And so if they do, the payouts are extremely high. And Bill Ackman saw that there was a huge pandemic going on. He predicted that the value of these bonds would fall and he was right. So he turned $27 million into $2.6 billion in less than a month. And that is called perfect timing. <laughs> Now, obviously, I'm not saying or expecting you guys to just go out there and make $2.6 billion like that because you probably don't have $27 million to your name and you probably are not a very, very savvy and experienced investor like Bill Ackman. On your own level and my own level, we can time the markets properly. And I'm going to give you an example of how someone like us did it. Some very normal, regular guys have also worked out that timing the market is entirely possible. I have a friend, Sam, who used to be one of those people that only bought index funds and waited. However, Sam told me about 
another friend he had who for some reason started getting into crypto sometime around October 2020. This guy kept on trying to convince Sam that crypto was going to be far more profitable than index funds over the next little while. And eventually Sam gave up and decided to put a few thousand dollars into crypto. And I think we all know just what happened next. Now, if that was the entire story, it wouldn't be a very special story. But the thing is, these guys knew exactly when to sell as well. As you can see here, they knew exactly when to sell one third of their position and when to start exiting these markets. Sam's friend later sold the rest of his stack sometime during October of 2021. And as you can see on the screen, that was also a pretty incredible time to sell everything. I want to remind you that all of these guys are literally just normal dudes like you and I, and they were just tracking things like market sentiment and risk levels. These guys were not hedge fund managers who were managing billions of dollars and crazy trading rigs. They were literally just using Binance. And I'm making this video right now to basically broadcast to the entire world that there is an incredible, incredible opportunity right now at our face. Because the Federal Reserve has been consistently and aggressively raising interest rates, the markets have responded and have responded very well. All markets are down. Crypto is down. Real estate is dropping and down. There has been insane crashes in the last couple of months, and it's only going to continue to get worse. And that's why when you look back at my tweet, you can see that step one is the Fed slows down on their interest rate hikes. Step two is they stop. And then step three is they start cutting those rates back down. So when they raise the rates, they are pulling money out of the market and what happens is the value of assets goes down and when they lower the rates they are putting money back into the market and the value of assets go up we know that by watching what the fed does we can actually sort of predict what the financial markets will do so how does this actually help us make money and there's just one more thing i want you guys to understand before i get into our game plan and this part is going to explain perfectly that tweet that i made that everybody on twitter agreed with and what that is the federal reserve's timeline from going from being hawkish or raising interest rates to curb inflation, to dovish or cutting interest rates to allow for economic expansion. So anytime you hear hawkish, associate that with raising interest rates. And when you hear dovish, associate it with cutting interest rates. In simple terms, when the Fed pivots from hawkish to dovish, asset prices will be allowed to start rising again, just like they did in 2021 and 2022. And this is the very, very important part because we have to pay close attention to when exactly they start to pivot. Critically, the next meeting where they decide on how much to increase the interest rates will be on December 14th of 2022, which is exactly seven days from when I'm filming this. And everybody believes that there is an 80% probability that they're only going to raise it by 50 basis points in a little bit of time, which means that step one will have already started, which means that my plan has just begun. Holy shit, the right. Now, I do want to mention this does not mean it's the bottom of the markets and you need to start mortgaging your house and selling everything that you have so you can buy stocks. Please do not do that. If you go back to the graph I showed earlier in the video, you can see markets have continued to fall even as interest rates hikes slowed down in the past. So based on history, we are going to have to wait until step two and step three of the Fed pivot before we even see the bottom of the market. And I want to point out really quick that these effects are not felt immediately in our daily lives as soon as they happen. So on December 15th, we're not going to notice a huge change because there is a lag effect. The lag effect delays the impact of raising the interest rates, and it takes months for the effect to really be felt by the people after it happens. So keeping that in mind, when the Fed fully pivots, we can expect the bottom of the markets to come in the following months, which are like maybe three to six months after. During the second step of the pivot, the pause in interest rate changes is expected to start in early 2023 and last at least a few months. Across all of these graphs, we can see that there is a very high probability of seeing the interest rate stagnate at somewhere between 475 and 525 basis points. The third and final step of the Fed's pivoting process is when they start cutting rates again. Realistically, it's only a matter of time before they start cutting interest rates because they cannot just keep raising interest rates forever. In fact, they can't even keep interest rates high for a very, very long period of time because they are going to force debt markets into substantially lower liquidity, and that is going to cause the prices of assets to continue plummeting. And this is not good because this is how we get into recessions and depressions, and nobody makes money and nobody's happy during these periods. So therefore, once there are signs of dysfunction in the markets, the Fed will have to swoop in and save the day by cutting interest rates once again. Therefore, and according to history, it is fairly likely and fair to assume that the bottom of all the financial markets will follow reasonably soon after the final step of the pivot, step three from the Federal Reserve. So once they start lowering rates again, 
that's pretty much, we have like a three to six month gap where you should start buying stuff. And in my opinion, according to my game plan and according to history as well, would be a good time to start buying. So going back to my tweet, we have broken down and now we fully understand the first four steps. But what is gonna happen next and what is going to happen with crypto? Crypto markets will follow bigger markets and I can't say that they will all bottom at the same time, but I do bet you that the crypto market will keep falling as long as the rest of the markets do. I think once all the markets consolidate and recover from the inflation disaster, we will start to see a perfect lining in the stars. It'll be like a lunar eclipse. All the planets will align, all the stars will make some shape and everything will be glorious glorious in the finance industry. Basically, all the ducks are gonna be in row for a humongous crypto bull run in the next couple of years. And it's very simple. The reason is because shortly after all of these markets recover, if everything goes according to plan, there is going to be a Bitcoin halving. And a Bitcoin halving is always followed by a bull run. The Bitcoin halving is an extremely important event in crypto because it basically marks the point at which the rewards for Bitcoin miners decrease. So every 210,000 blocks that are mined for Bitcoin, which generally takes about four years, miners get half the reward that they were getting previously. This means that less Bitcoin will be created and sold by miners into the market, which ultimately means that there's going to be a slight supply shock. And this basically sets the stage for another bull run because now there is less supply for a very in-demand asset. And now you guys can probably begin to understand understand what I mean when I say lifetime opportunity. I wasn't kidding about making $20 million and I'm not joking. You can literally 20 or 30 extra entire net worth in the next five years if you really play your cards well. As you can see, going back to my tweet, once the market's bottom near the end of 2023 or 2024, we start to buy stuff and then the real estate in the stock market starts to boom once again. And then in 2024, Bitcoin will have, which sets the stage for another crypto bull run. And then you can see step eight, crypto bull run, which has been set perfectly in line. And then one to two years after that happens in late 2025 or 2026, we sell everything for like a glorious 30x increase in our network. Now, of course, I'm not going to be an idiot and pretend that there can't be another black swan event or things in the world can't happen that will change this entire plan and reform this entire plan because that's entirely possible. And it's, to be honest, probably likely. For example, if a country invades another country or US gets involved with something like this, that completely changes all of these plans and we have to completely reform it. But if everything goes according to plan, no more viruses spread across the entire world, no more countries go to war with each other, and we just slowly try to fix and rebuild this crappy situation that we were put into, I think that this is a pretty reasonable plan. I think this is pretty obvious by this point in the video. I'm just a 23, almost 24 year old kid. I've made millions and millions of dollars using and leveraging the internet. I've made millions of dollars investing as well, but I don't know everything and I can certainly be wrong and this is certainly not financial advice. This is my bet. I'm just putting it all on the line. I'm making it public. I'm showing you guys because I'm just trying to help as many people as possible. This is what I'm going to personally be doing. I've had success in the past. This is what I'm going to be doing. I have smart friends around me and this is our plan. You guys can follow it if you want to. You don't have to follow it. Honestly, lucky for you guys, if things do change, I will make videos in the future and you can just watch those videos and see how I update the plan. So subscribe, it's free. All of this is free and I'm just trying to help as many people as possible. Now I do want to point out and mention that you should never base any short term investments just based on how hawkish or dovish the Federal Reserve is. There have absolutely been times in history when prices of assets continued falling, even though interest rates were coming back down. So in the short term, it's probably a bad idea to make a quick decision based on these things. But over the long term, over a macro view, it's not really that bad of a play. And that's why this is a three, four, even five, six year plan. It's not like a like a quick swing trade and you can make money next week or something like that. Now, I also do want to mention some risk management until all of this happens because truthfully, we probably have at least eight months or even 12 months or even longer before we can expect the markets to bottom. And while you should be dollar cost averaging into all of the markets like I have already been doing, I have been dollar cost averaging into crypto markets for the last four months and I'm still doing it every single month or anytime there's a huge drop. So you should be doing it throughout the entire next year and you should be working now. This is the most important time to start an online business and make as much money as you possibly can and have as much cash flow as you possibly can. You need to work hard right now in the next 12 months as hard as you possibly can. And I want you to think about it like this. If you do everything well, you buy into all these markets right now when they're all extremely discounted, 
you are going to make a return on your money because these markets will come back to where they used to be and they will go even higher. That is just history. That's how it works. So let's just assume you're going to 4X. You're going to 4X all of your money. That means every single dollar you make right now today will be 4X in three or four years or five years. So if you're making $100 a day right now, it's $400 a day. If you're making a thousand bucks a day, it's $4,000 a day so that you can put it where it belongs so that you can invest in these assets so that you can reap the benefits and the rewards that comes with it. Guys, I'm telling you, I've already made over million dollars in this last crypto bull run aside from all my other businesses aside for everything and i got into crypto in 2017 i made good money i made good money on this bull run the next bull run i'm not playing around i'm like this is it this is the opportunity of our entire lives and it's not just crypto it's stocks it's real estate it's everything there is a opportunity coming and you need to work as hard as you possibly can i know i just went on a rant there you can tell you can tell how passionate and how serious i am about this and i do want to mention if you are new to my channel you don't know anything about making money on the internet go watch all my videos because i have tons of videos that give you free ideas that explain finance that explains where you're at and where you need to go and i also have a free drop shipping course i have a free tiktok drop shipping course where you can literally start and scale and run a drop shipping store completely free you don't even have to use tiktok ads you can just make organic tiktok content and promote your products for free and get free traffic you don't even have to pay it's zero dollars for you to even start the course is free everything is free so you can go do that right now link for that is in the description it's free go join it right now yeah other than that i don't have anything to sell you guys i'm just trying to help here now i was going to continue talking about risk risk management and where else we can put our money, which in the meantime, if you have a lot of money that you're sitting on and you don't want to lose it to inflation or you don't want to just sitting in a bank account, which you shouldn't because a catastrophe can happen and a bank run can happen and you're only insured up to 250K. Also, all of the just cold, hard cash I deposit into the money markets, which yields me 3.8%, which is not a lot, but it does okay. It's a little bit of a hedge against inflation. I also buy guns. I just, I have money everywhere now. That being said, I'm planning to time the market very, very well. I'm using a strategy that kind of it's like a hybrid strategy that uses both <sighs> guys in five years you're either going to see this video and you're going to be like this kid's a freaking genius or you're gonna be like this kid's an idiot and i'm either going to be gone with a hundred million dollars and who knows where or I'm going to be working at McDonald's, but we'll see. I have strong convictions. So that being said, I'm not going to make a video about managing your risk here because that really only applies if you have a ton of money sitting in cash. And the truth is most people watching this video probably don't have over a quarter million dollars sitting in cash. So it's not a problem they have to worry about. Other than that, if you guys want me to cover something else or make a video on something else, please let me know. And I will, and I will see you guys all my beloved, my beloved subscribers. I will see you guys all in the next video. Peace.